just came back from Zillow's annual conference and I'm gonna give you an update on what happened coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? Dylan Onaka here with the Buy Big Island video blog and I just came back from Zillow's annual realtor conference and this year was a little bit different than past years because it was by invite only. So in the past, they would invite anybody to come. You didn't have to be an advertiser um, or you didn't have to have meet any type of criteria and you could just show up and hear what was going on. And this year they changed that and they limited the attendees to 1,500 and they have 60,000 realtors that advertise with them across the United States. And although it was real estate focused, the reason that this is makes sense or is important to both consumers and realtors is because that's what the big focus was, was their relationship with consumers and with realtors and how that's gonna adjust and change on, in the pretty big announcement that they made at this conference, which was basically that they are gonna change from a pay for advertising model to a more referral based model where you, they, you will only pay them when you actually close the leads that they give to you as opposed to right now where you pay up front for a certain number of leads and a certain zip code and then it's on you to close those deals if you don't close them you don't make any money off of that paid advertising and their main motivation for doing that is because they want to have a little bit more control and predictability over the experience that the customers that use their site to connect with real estate agents get once they connect with a real estate agent because right now it's they don't have any control over that. A, a, a realtor pays for advertising, they get leads from Zillow, and who knows what they do at that point. They may follow up, they may not, they may follow up initially and then not follow up after that. They may provide a good level of service, they may not provide a good level of service. Zillow doesn't know at that point what happens, and so they get the bad name, right? If, a, if they could connect a consumer with a realtor, and the realtor doesn't do a good job for them, that realtor, that, that consumer in most cases will blame Zillow and say Zillow's agents are, are crappy. And so they want to move away from that and provide a better, more predictable, more consistent customer experience to the folks that use their site. And so that's why they're moving away from the pay for advertising model where anybody with a credit card can pay for leads to a model where they're gonna pick and choose based upon uh, criteria. So if you are a agent in a certain area that has a lot of closings and they're also going to survey the customers. So once they connect you with a customer, they're gonna survey that customer periodically to see what kind of job you're doing and then they're gonna assign a customer uh, experience score to that agent so they can track and see what kind of job that agent or broker is doing for the clients that Zillow is connecting with them and they're gonna weed out the folks that are not doing a good job or don't provide a high level of customer service to the clients that Zillow is connecting with that realtor. And they're gonna funnel more leads to the realtors and brokers who are doing a good job, who are converting the leads and closing deals. And that's the way Zillow will then make money is that they will then take a portion of those closed sales as a fee in order to fund their operations. So. It's a very interesting change. It's a very big change. Zillow is a big deal. They own Trulia and Homes.com. They're a huge company and the number one uh, real estate company in the world in terms of where people search for real estate. So it's gonna have a big impact on a lot of people across the nation. And it's definitely gonna change the relationship that consumers and Zillow and realtors have, in my opinion, for the better because they're gonna have a little bit more quality control over the agents that Zillow connects with consumers and consumers are gonna get a better experience. And that is overall their goal is to give the consumers a better experience. So the home buying process, which is already uh, can be stressful and difficult is as smooth and as pleasurable as possible by connecting the clients that use their site with high quality realtors across the nation who can help them and assist them the best way possible. So very interesting change. Um, overall, it was a really good conference, very interesting. Um, information, but that was the biggest piece and the biggest takeaway is that's going to be rolled out over the next um, coming months and years. They've already piloted in a couple of different markets, but it's not nationwide yet. But we talked about a couple of weeks ago, uh, different real estate websites and how they operate and 
this is a big change in the way that Zillow operates and the other websites that they control. So I thought it was very interesting and we'll see what happens and hopefully at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's better for consumers definitely and I think it will, will be better for, for realtors. So if you have any questions about that or have any comments, feel free to put them in the comments, happy to discuss it. But well, that's the update from the Zillow conference and I'll see you guys next week. Aloha.